Budapest's castle district is undergoing major building work. Soon, Hungary's ministries are to be relocated to the palaces built according to historical models. Prime Minister Orban wants castle district to become Hungary's new power centre. He's already moved his official residence here. The district mayor, Martin Azali, is appalled. The opposition politician is forced to look on as the government expropriates land owned by the city. This sends a dangerous social message. I don't want us reverting back to how things were in 1944, including architecturally. This was an arbitrary, dictatorial decision by the government that runs counter to society's interests. Many share her concerns. Residents like Tamás Wagner hardly recognize the city anymore. Hello, Mayor. What brings you here? I wanted to see the new buildings around the castle. I fear there's nothing we can do to stop this. Tamás Wagner has lived here for 26 years. He's worried that he and his neighbors will soon no longer be able to live in the castle district. Tamás says the government's plans come at a high cost to Hungary in more ways than one. First, they said it would cost 75 million euro. Now they've spent 155 million. And aren't even halfway finished. Hungary's parliament building is located on the other side of the Danube River. Today, Kossuth Square looks exactly the same as it did in March 1944, replete once again with statues and monuments from the era of Miklos Horthy, who served as regent through most of World War II. Orban's government even reinstalled the Monument of National Martyrs, which was removed after World War II. Historian Christian Ungvari reviews archive material of its original unveiling and footage from 2019 when the reconstructed monument was inaugurated to fiery rhetoric by parliamentary speaker Laszlo Couvert. We are branded anti-European, xenophobic, Islamophobic and homophobic just for cherishing our traditions. Hungary can only win this fight if her enemies understand that their foreign money, godlessness and treasonous ways will never rule Hungary again. They are equating the current political opposition to a band of terrorists and traitors. That's puzzling because such parties are governing all over Europe today. Why should Hungary be a member of the European Union if its government advocates values at odds with the ones the Union represents? The historian cannot understand Orban's nostalgia for the 1940s. He says Miklos Horthy oversaw a dark chapter in the country's history. Hundreds of thousands were deported from Hungary and sent to their debts. 1944 was a bad year. Tamás Malti agrees. He meets with his neighbor, Janos Malti. I heard you're moving. Why? These days, you just don't know what's going to happen. The country is being fleeced. You know, my wife is Jewish. If back then, the Jews had known why they were boarding trains, they would have refused. My wife does not want to see anything like that happen ever again. Janos Malti has decided to leave Budapest and possibly Hungary altogether just like hundreds of thousands of Hungarian citizens who could no longer bear to watch their country's political transformation in recent years.